Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. Well, you know your your shop bumblefuckery is doing well when you question more answers than you answered. Having a look at these to see how skookum they are, found out they're so fucking skookum, you can't break them prior to the fastener breaking. The bolt, which brings up some questiones. Now, we've all heard uh, FT, Texas Torque, nothing tighter than stripped, because we've all done it, you know, just... <laughs> Just a flu, a, a, a flu blonde ones shy of breaking. Here's the thing, brought up three major questions in my mind. How much torque is too much? How much over torque is too much? Like, where are you gonna break the bolt? How do you know when you can reuse a bolt? How do you know how the break bolt broke? The fullness of time being what it do, as well as the cats away, the mice will play, which is far superior to think about than <laughs> the Versa Visa. We are gonna test this to its natural conclusion. At least I'll leave a beautiful corpse. Right on, that's her. There you go. Didn't take but a wee bit of torque to bust your nut off. Two, well, less than 200 foot pounds. Can you reuse a bolt? First off, it's got to pass the sniff test, the, the scratch itch test. If a couple bolts on something break, is it going to kill somebody? Is it going to hurt a whole bunch of equipment? Is it going to cost a whole lot of money? If the If the answer to that is no, then we progress. If it is yes, you put in new fucking bolts every time. Head bolts, all that sort of stuff. Eh, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. You might want to check them out real close before you reuse them. If you can reuse them, and if a couple bolts don't break and don't kill anybody in that scenario, then what you can do is take a nut. And you take a nut and you run it down on the threads. If it runs down nice and clean and easy on the threads, you can reuse the bolt because the the shank diameter here is larger than this diameter. So the bolt, the fastener is always going to stretch on the threads. So if you can run a new nut on the threads, then we know that it's not stretched too much. We can reuse the bolt. Back are we to the long suffering green cutting mat. Now, the question was how much torque is too much torque? So right around on, on lubricated threads, well, not not super clean threads so you got to assume there's a little bit of lube on there not totally dry threads takes about 200 250 percent of torque on a half inch fastener in order to break it right clean half it too that means you got a lot of leeway there you know you you can over torque it quite a bit and it's not going to break on you however we saw with the gauge going up if you over torque it it actually weakens the bolt so you got to watch that you, you don't want to be dicking around reusing fasteners and stuff if it's going to kill somebody I'm, this is all for in the shop use you know holding brackets on and stuff this isn't aerospace grade advice here you, you, there's certain procedures and so forth that are built into to systems that people rely on to not die we're going to do a very cursory failure analysis on this bolt now you and I know exactly what happened because we saw it happen. But say some apprentice comes to us in a bloody mess with a mitt full of lips and teeth saying, I don't know what happened. The bolt just kind of broke. Uh, we can have a look at that bolt and we can see exactly what happened. Off the hop, is the bolt rusty? If it's rusty at the break location, we know it had to happen over time. Two, is the bolt shiny? If, it, it, if there's fretting anywhere on the bolt or, you know, if it's real shiny, that means it had to have been polished by something. It means it was fretting. So it had been that way 
for a long time. Something had been vibrating away. We don't have that in this case. Back to the beginning. I was born at a very early age. We want to see where the crack, where this break started. And no surprise, it started on one of the very last threads in the nut. Now, why is that? Because that's the highest stress concentration. That's that first second, first or second thread that's really biting into the fastener. And it's got a nice little chunk taken out of it here. So we know it started here. Also, we have these conchoidal benchmarks. Conchoidal, uh, if you think, if, just to remember that word, I use a conch shell and that's an alarm. You blow the conch, that's an alarm. That conchoidal benchmarking that looks like scallops, that's pointing you to where it started, where the, where the break started. So as we torqued it up, it broke here and then it broke a little bit here and then broke a little bit more here, a little bit more here, and continued to ratchet up. Now looking at the stress of that, that, that gauge going up, it, it went up and then it peaked and it stayed there. So what's happening is the material is actually getting, it's broken, but it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger as we're taking, as we're taking out the ductility and the material, we're taking out the grains sliding on each other until finally it just has to give. And here we see it's these conchoidal benchmarks continue to grow and they're all roughly the same size. They start out real small here, but then they sort of level out. And then all of a sudden it just gives and there's nothing left. And we see that failed all in one go right here when it just couldn't handle the torque anymore. So we know that this bolt was clearly over torqued. As confirmation, here's our second coupon right at the thread. See it broke, it's nice and shiny. It broke all in one go, kind of broke along here. And then we can see on a, almost a f perfect 45 degree angle, which is a ductile failure in torsion. Uh, I gotta look that up now, but wow, well, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I fucked around with Morse Circle, but I'm sure somebody smarter than I am can, uh, uh, somebody maybe that deals with it every day, can uh, put some stuff in the doobly-doo. Same thing though, what's that word? Conch shell? Conch shell blowing the horn. Conchoidal benchmarks here, ratcheting up. The material breaking every time we give her a little tweak and then let it off, it's breaking further and further and further until... It just cannot suffer anymore and gives up the ghost. Thanks for watching. Keep your little Richard in a bad habit. <laughs>